Fixed Claire from Hamilton Hudson's UK and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today if you look on my blog and gallery you'll notice that I've updated it to show creations which I've made using this stamp set or suite. So this is the Country Lane Suite. It's on pages 42 and 43 of the annual catalogue which went live on the 5th of September and runs through to the start of January. It's a gorgeous autumnal suite but you could also use for other parts of the year it's not just Christmas and yes they do have a few thankful um Thanksgiving but it's also um a thankful for life rather than just for Thanksgiving so we've got um a stamp set we've got DSP we've got ribbon we've got some decorative elements some clips some metallic paper and an embossing bottom folder and then there's also some blends which go with the colours in this suite. So let's move this out of the way and have a look at the stamp set. So the stamp set is pop photopolymer, there's 14 stamps, let's just zoom this in, um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I've stamped them out, so we've got a milk churn, we've got a tile, um, we've got a little label, um, we've got some gorgeous flowers and then another set of gorgeous flowers on this side and then a jug and then we've got um, sentiments. So we've got hello, love, joy and thanks and they all fit in this little um, label. We've got simply thankful for all the good things, so grateful for someone like you in my life, happy harvest blessings and you are the happy to my day. So as I said, this is... Um, a good one to send as a friend or a random act of kindness or something like that. So let's take this out of the way. So the next part of the suite is paper. So I have to confess that some of this is good and some of it I'm not really sure about. But I do love more than half, half the um, patterns so that's why I bought it. So we've got mint macaron and we've got sort of the, um, I want to say cottony um, sheets. And then on the back of that, we've got um, the tiles, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I could imagine a geometric card using these, um, using this paper. Uh, then we've got um, the cotton again, but with, um, I think that's crushed curry. Um, and I love that, it's gorgeous. And I've been adding that with basic gray. And then on the back, we've got a really deep colour, um, which is Blackberry Bliss, but it also goes quite well with the Rich Wrestleberry. Um, and then the next one is we have pumpkins. Um, I think this is, is an autumnal set, um, but the pumpkins are white, so you can colour them whichever colour you like, if you want to. And then on the back, we've got a gorgeous crosshatch pattern. Um which is lovely. And then we've got a um, wood grain. And then on the back we've got a absolutely gorgeous stripe. Um, which is, I think it's Cajun, no sorry, I think it's Crush Curry and Blackberry Bliss. And then we've got a bit of a crazy pattern. And this is one of the ones I'm not really keen on. Um, but I do like the back. So the back is a gorgeous herringbone um, and this side mm, I'm not sure but this is absolutely stunning and then we've got pumpkins again um, with mint macaron and then on the back we've got a gorgeous blackberry bliss side so I absolutely adore that paper and there is also some more paper in this suite which is actually galvanised paper isn't that gorgeous so there are two sides to this paper, unlike the foil, and it is gorgeous and it looks amazing when it's been um, embossed. So if you want to take your embossing folders or your, um, you could use embossing um, masks as well if you put them through the machine. So they're absolutely gorgeous. And then there's also the chicken wire elements. So this would look amazing if you have the Hey Chick set. Um, you can use it in parts, but it also breaks away. So you could use it 
um, as itself or you could just use the outside as, uh, as, as a card layer and then obviously you've got the inside which you can chop up and then on the back it's white so I believe that you can paint on this with the um, shimmer paints which I will be trying. So the next part of the suite is the braided linen trim. It is gorgeous. It's thicker than the um, baker's twine, um, but thinner than the other option, which I use quite regularly, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I use the burlap ribbon a lot. And of course that's different colour and different consistency but I love that. And then um, this is the linen thread so it's a lot thinner but you can still um, break it down and um, fray it if you like to and make different shapes or yeah that's absolutely stunning. So um, let's move these out of the way. So the next part is the embossing part. So this is the Tin Tile um, Dynamic Textured Im Impressions Embossing Folder. So I try saying that as a tongue twister. And this is what it creates. Isn't that gorgeous? So you'll notice on a lot of the cards that they've also been using the shimmer paints on these. But it is gorgeous and it definitely gives a very deep, depth to your card it makes it stunning and last but no means least we have the galvanized clips so these are gorgeous to put on top of your bags or on your card just to add a little embellishment and i love that it's really cute so let's see if i can get it to autofocus haha -ha, there we go press the wrong button so yeah um these look absolutely gorgeous connecting your cards to each other or on top of bags or um, just as a little interest at the top and then sorry I also missed out that there are um, some new blends so as you can see I'll just bring in a scrap of paper um, they have brought out light black bliss, which is this colour which is absolutely gorgeous and then they've also brought out dark black ruby, which goes with this suite, as does Cajun Craze, which is this colour. And I absolutely adore those colours. So, um, let's take these out of the way. I'm bringing these out. So these are the items in the gorgeous country home suite. And I think that these definitely will go through the year so thank you for pressing play on the video today if you've got any questions please contact me at claire at handmade at hudsons.co.uk or you can contact me via the comments below or you can contact me um on the comments from handmade at hudsons.co.uk thank you for pressing play and i hope to speak to you soon thanks bye